From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Only 7 out of every 1,000 people will live to be 100. The question is, with the state of the world as it is, do you want to live to 100? A study says people can cut the risk of early death by getting up from sitting down every 30 minutes. Unless you're getting up to get another beer, then it's kind of a wash. Picking your nose could be fatal. Close to 20 percent of people in a recent survey said picking their nose while driving nearly caused them to get into an accident. <laughs> you know, it's hard to keep your hands at 10 and 2 when one of them has a finger up your nostril. The unmanned spacecraft Cassini made its final orbit around Saturn Thursday and then deliberately turned and made a suicide plunge, burning up early Friday morning in Saturn's atmosphere. They're making a movie about it. Thelma and Louise and Cassini. So you lose the presidency to the biggest long shot in the history of America. How do you deal with the stress? Hillary Clinton told CNN's Anderson Cooper that she's been doing a lot of yoga and alternate nostril breathing. When asked to demonstrate, Clinton said, "...you're supposed to shut your eyes. I don't want to shut my eyes on national television, but you do hold your nostril and breathe through one, and you hold it, and then you exhale to the other, and you keep going." Clinton added that the technique is very relaxing if you try it while sitting cross-legged on the yoga mat, and you're really trying to inhale and hold it and then have a long exhale. Uh, to, to sum this up, alternate nostril breathing is for political losers. The California city is going to ban pedestrians from using cell phones in crosswalks. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Selena Gomez has a new kidney because of lupus. Her best friend, dancer and actress Francia Raisa, offered up one of her own kidneys. But then Selena said she hopes she can do the same for her best friend someday and completely ruined the mood. Los Angeles has been given the official go for hosting the Summer Olympic Games in 2028. Man, they had better leave now with that Olympic torch if they plan to arrive on time after that LA traffic. A family in England called up their local animal protection agency to deal with a rare lizard that was under their bed. The family had no idea how the lizard got there. An officer went to the home to visit the family and look at the lizard. The officer approached the unmoving reptile cautiously and was unable to identify its breed. On closer inspection, it was not a lizard, but a dirty sock. <laughs> when your laundry is so dirty that it's being mistaken as wildlife, it might be time to call in a cleaning service. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is dedicated to my friends at Cross International. With the devastating hurricanes that hit Texas and Florida, it's easy to forget others in need around the world, such as South Sudan, where children are literally starving to death. So I've teamed up with Cross International and I'm asking you, my official weirdos, to save a life today. A single gift of $60 will feed a child for a full five months. You can also ask that part of your gift go to hurricane relief, so you're helping both causes at the same time. Call 866-822-4883 to donate now. That's 866-822-4883. Or give online by clicking the Cross International banner at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. To become an official weirdo, click that subscribe button and click that little bell next to the subscribe button to be a part of the notification squad. While you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you are an official weirdo.